12 drinks of Christmas. We're at Disney Springs. We are looking for drinks six and seven, seven, seven and, eight. and eight. Seven, seven and eight. Seven and eight. Let's go find seven drinks seven and, and eight, eight of the 12 drinks of Christmas. Yes. Welcome back to 12 Drinks of Christmas. We are working on drinks seven and eight of the yes. 12 Drinks of Christmas. We are at Disney Springs and we are gonna go to Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill for eggnog. a Christmas eggnog martini. martini. Yes. Ooh, sounds good. Well, let's get our Christmas eggnog on. Can't wait. Let's go. in the 12 drinks of Christmas Wolfgang so Puck Bar and Grill. <laughs> what do we have Karen? We have eggnog martinis. Eggnog martinis and made like with traditional like eggnog traditional like little, eggnog. literally she made it right in front of us raw with the cream egg. and the raw egg and grated the nutmeg. So beautiful. We'll drink and then we'll talk about Let's what's, drink what's specifically in it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. What's in it? What's it's got in rum. It? You can brandy. read it. You don't have to guess. If I, you don't. I'm gonna read it. As well, I mean, on here it doesn't list all the ingredients. It just says dark rum and Christian Brothers brandy. But then, like she explained to us, that they make it with the cream and the raw egg and the grated nutmeg. Like literally, she walked out with two full eggs, eggs. in her hand. It's crazy. Love it. 12 drinks of Christmas, 
Is this your favorite so far? I was I'm just gonna say 100%. We had a, 100%. We had a, we had a so authentic couple, Christmas. I know I'm talking over you, but I'm so excited. We had a couple mixed drinks to start with, right? Hollywood Studios, yes. What were those two? Oh my God, you're testing me now. There was a mule. Holiday mule. There was and a they... mule and there was something that was blue. I remember that. Yours frostbite. was blue. It was a frostbite. frostbite. Right. It was okay. Oh, you're good. And then we moved on to a couple winter beers, I think. A couple. Oh, the eggnog porter was a disappointment the, for me. Yeah. Uh, there was a, like a white porter. Yeah. And I had a peppermint coffee porter, I think, which, you was, liked which yours. Was, was pretty good. Yeah. Then we went for um, Jock, Lindsay's. Jock Lindsay's, a Jock Frost, and, and the a, Jock's Holiday Nog. Nothing so was, like this. And now, and this, now just, this stop, we technically both got the same. So drink. I guess this is drink number seven. So this is drink, drink number, number seven. seven. If you like eggnog, you have to come here and get this drink. Like, you have to. Yes. If you are a fan of any eggnog type of holiday drink, I don't, it'd be, you would, you'd be hard pressed probably to find a drink here, you know, in our Disney property 12 drinks quest to beat this. That's all, as least, authentic as this. As, you know, on a eggnog creamy type style of drink. You don't even I don't generally even, I'm care not a for big eggnog. fan of I don't I don't think like cream and dairy products should be in your cocktails normally, but this is unbelievable. Have you ever had though true eggnog? I I don't recall. Not not out of a carton. So maybe not. Maybe but maybe not. Do you like eggnog? Do you like real eggnog? Let us know. Let us know if you've never had eggnog. I'm not a big fan, but this is pretty damn good. Does the raw egg freak you out? No, not at all. The no. raw egg doesn't freak me out. No, No, neither. it's more about like liquors and dairy products mixed together didn't seem So you've never intuitive. had a white Russian? Oh, I don't think I've ever had a white Russian. <laughs> or like a Kahlua Sombrero. No, see, no. Or that's a frozen the, mud fly. Those are, those probably precisely are the drinks that come to mind when you say dairy products <laughs> should not be mixed with fine alcohol or spirits. This is so lovely. I mean, you probably could, I know I say that all the time. You could probably really trade is. that in for a white Russian. No, I'm good. If you're new here, I'm Kevin. I'm Karen. Channel Skews and Brews, where we drink and we do, we drink and we do things. So there's always something to do here at the Springs. Maybe we can find some entertainment. I'm sure we can. The last time we were here, we did the Christmas tree walk. Yeah, that was fun. It was fun. We had never done it before. Although we do have to find probably one more drink. If this is number eight of 12. No, should... this is number seven. So oh, we're going we to need to find, find number, number eight, eight so that we're not left with an odd number. So Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill, yeah. right across from the Chicken Guy, yeah. next to the Coca-Cola building. Um, three stories of Coca-Cola merchandise, but it's next door. Fairly new. The last few years they Wolfgang built it. Wolfgang Puck is great. Did they used to be somewhere else, right? Wasn't the restaurant down by it used Splitsville? Used to be over by Splitsville, where Jaleo or Haleo or whoever you say that is. So they relocated. Really nice in here. Rustic wooden decor. Some great lighting fixtures. I think this big copper covered thing behind us is actually a pizza oven and I think they it is I think and they also have a gelato bar here I think a bakery and gelato bar they also have some aged old fashioned that they serve here that we're gonna have to get one of these days so I think right? it's just known for really good craft cocktails and craft food which so far I'm all about the uh, craft it's so good eggnog. I'm drinking it faster than I wanted to because it's so good Okay. Wolfgang Puck, Bar and Grill, drink number seven of number 12. Seven. Number seven, 12 drinks of Christmas. We had, what was it, holiday eggnog? Eggnog martini. Eggnog martini. Mm -hmm. Real egg. Rum, really good. Brandy, rum. cream, fresh nutmeg. And we followed it up with a prosciutto and arugula pizza. So good. The pizza at Wolfgang Puck, highly recommend that. And then we also had two crooked can. Black Frost Lager. Black Frost, it's a black lager. So crisp, clean, dark, roasty, not too bitter, 
well done beer. So doesn't count towards the 12 drinks of Christmas. No, not a holiday drink, but really great experience. So now we're in search of number drink eight. number eight. Number eight. Right, let's go. Inside the Christmas tree is jolly. The cup of tea is drink number eight. Drink number eight of Christmas, and it, it is. Looks like Christmas. It's got a lot going on in there. It's a Christmas old fashioned. And what is in a Christmas old fashioned? It's an old fashioned with a cranberry and rosemary infused simple syrup. And a proper large ice cube. Yes. Cheers. So it just tastes like an old fashioned to me right, so far. Right, me too. I don't have me any too, which cranberries. Which is good. So maybe a little bit of time for the rosemary to, to steep in there and then maybe we can like stir the cranberries in. But it's good. But it's just a really good old fashioned at this point. And it's pretty. Actually, I got a little bit of the aroma when I was drinking it. Like the rosemary adds a little nose to it. Which gives you a little bit of pine, almost piney, piney Christmas. Right. Yeah, it totally smells like. I probably convinced myself of it now, but like I, I smell a, I smell a pine tree when I, when I smell it. Now. Yeah. I have a Christmas tree in my my old fashioned. Christmas tree in your glass. You, you've got your Christmas tree in my old fashioned. You've got your old fashioned on my Christmas tree. The old Reese's commercial. Yeah. See what I did there? I did. Yeah, well done. That's lovely. So, boathouse. I say that all the time. <laughs> dockside bar. Yes. Behind the boathouse. 12 drinks of Christmas, number eight. Number eight. We'll have um, our old fashions. We'll enjoy them. Again, Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill was really well done. Drinks and food. One of our favorite entertainers is playing just outside of the boathouse here, so after we, we finish our old fashions, we might have to go see a little bit of Brian Malpass, who's yeah. absolutely one of our favorites. He's a regular here at Disney Springs, and he's just so good. He's still shocking to me. Yeah, he's gonna be famous someday. Yeah. <laughs> Fairfax, no one ever hit my back like 